I've been multi-streaming to Twitch, YouTube and TikTok at the same time because I wanted to see if that helped grow my channel. I've been focusing mostly on Twitch because I think that that is the most important and I want to keep my focus there 100% so Twitch comes first for me. Twitch is my first platform. This means that if somebody says something on Twitch I immediately react and for YouTube and TikTok if I can't react because Twitch people are talking, they will be basically second choice. Why am I doing it this way? Because I think if you do it differently, then people will feel like they're second place everywhere. And I just want to make sure that people on Twitch feel like, hey, this is the primary platform. And other people on other platforms can still feel like, hey, you know, I feel like Twitch is the primary platform, but they can still just hop into Twitch if they would like to. But the thing is, I've heard a lot of people like, hey, how would you actually multi-stream to these things for free? Because a lot of like services ask for money and you know, you might not like that, which, you know, totally fair. I, I'm doing it for free too. So the way I'm doing it is I'm using OBS Studio. If you use Streamlabs desktop, it works kind of similar, but I'm gonna explain it in OBS Studio. What I'm using is Restream and Restream normally asks money for multi-streaming. However, if you do it via OBS, you can multi-stream to two things at the same time for free. So what we're doing, we're gonna go to Restream. We're gonna go to Restream right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on connect to OBS Zoom. If you use this one, it will cost money. We're gonna connect it. We're gonna copy the RPTM URL. We're gonna go to stream settings right here and we're gonna select our server that we wanna use. And for me, that's Amsterdam because Amsterdam is the most close. You can also click on auto detect if you want to. Then here, we're gonna copy this URL. We're gonna go to OBS. We're gonna go to settings, stream, and then paste it right here. Then we need a stream key. That's the, the one underneath. We're just gonna copy that and paste it underneath here. And then we're gonna click on apply and okay. Now we've put it in our OBS. This means that our OBS is actually connecting to Restream right now. It says remove branding, upgrading, but you don't have that if you stream the way we do right now, okay? If you stream via the studio, you will get this branding. If you do it the way we are doing it right now, you won't have any branding in it. All right, what we need to do now is we need to select which channels. So we can add a channel. Uh, we can ch add anything, Twitch, YouTube. So I've added Twitch and YouTube. For Twitch, what you just need to do, connect it to your account and it will automatically basically change the title and the category for you, what you set on Twitch. For YouTube, it's a little different because YouTube basically has their link on the different page every time. If you use this to set up your stream on YouTube, you will not get a thumbnail. So what we want to do is we want to create one here on YouTube Live. Just schedule a stream. Grab whatever settings you want. We can just reuse this one. I guess we can change the title, the description, we can add tags, we can add the thumbnail and we're just going to make it visible. We can schedule it. For example, like this, I scheduled it done. Now this is going to appear here and now we have set it up. However, we still need to connect it to restream. What we can do is click on edit and then select the event here. Uh, usually it takes a bit to load in the image. So that's the way I usually see that this is the new one. And we just click here and save it. Takes a bit. You need to do that before starting your stream, okay? If you haven't done that before starting your stream, you're gonna have a problem. If you've set it up before and you've already set things up, what you can do is you can click edit destinations, edit it for YouTube, and then just do the same thing, select the right one here. So you don't have to go in that same page like here the whole time. All right, so we have set up Restream. Now it streams to Twitch and YouTube. If you want to add more than two things, it's going to cost us money, so we're not going to do that. What I'm now going to do, you're going to download a plugin for your OBS called Atom Vertical. You'll basically have this right here. <laughs> we have a bit of a streamception, but this is basically Atom Vertical. And what it does, it actually adds a second OBS in your OBS, which is vertical. You can see that I have sources here, and vertical sources here, scenes here and vertical scenes here. So these source and scenes are just the normal OBS. And then we have vertical scenes and vertical sources that are linked to this one. So we basically have this mirrored. We can even connect the scenes. So when you switch scenes, it will also switch on the vertical. What we're going to do is we're going to click this button, which basically st starts and stops the virtual cam on this canvas. What we can also do is we can also stream from here directly if you have a stream key. If you have a TikTok stream key, you can just put it in here and basically stream like you do in OBS, but we don't have that. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to restream via TikTok Live Studio. 
I believe that you need a thousand followers to be able to get this app. If you're not able to download it, that's probably why. Some countries it's even have 10,000 and in some countries it's even not available. If you're like, hey, I can't download this, that's the reason why, then you can only stream via your phone, sadly. But what we can do here is we basically have as input, so we add a source and we're, we're adding the virtual camera. So we're just adding a camera source and we're adding OBS virtual camera and then add the source. I've already done that, so it doesn't let me, but this is basically what you get. And it will copy, as you see, it will copy this into our TikTok live studio. So when we go live with this, it basically just copies this screen that we have set up in OBS. And then the only thing to do is press live on your TikTok live studio and press live on your OBS and it will automatically go to your Twitch, your YouTube and your TikTok. That's how I've been live streaming to multiple platforms for free for a couple of months already. And I've had no problems except for the fact that it costs a little bit more effort for your PC to do it. And it costs a little bit more effort for you to put in the YouTube link and stuff like that. But if you would just stream to YouTube itself, it would also cost a little bit more effort because you still need to like put your stream key into OBS the whole time. Because I don't know why they need to make it difficult on YouTube. I've also have a video on how to set your stream chat so you can just have them in one browser source without having to have your chat scattered all around. I'll leave that video right here so go watch that. For more Twitch tips, go watch this video. If you want to set up streamer gear, I do have a playlist right here with a lot of cool streaming gear. And right here you can subscribe. So I'll see you there.